Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the preceding video, we discussed the theories of acid-base indicators. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of pharmaceutical analysis, click on the links given in the description below this video. In this video, we shall learn the classification of acid-base titrations and theory involved in titrations of strong, weak and very weak acids and bases. An acid-base titration involves a neutralization reaction in which an acid is reacted with an equivalent amount of base. By constructing a titration curve, we can easily explain how the endpoints of these titrations can be detected. The endpoint signals the completion of the reaction. A titration curve is constructed by plotting the pH of the solution as a function of the volume of titrant added. The titrant is always a strong acid or a strong base. The analyte may be either a strong base or acid or a weak base or acid. Many chemical analysis depend on pH and this in turn is often determined by how acids or bases interact or react. An acid may usually be considered to be strong or weak and again a base may either be strong or weak. It is therefore we can classify acid base titrations into number 1. A strong acid may react with a strong base. Number 2. A strong acid may react with a weak base. Number 3. A strong base may react with a weak acid. And number 4. A weak acid may react with a weak base. The pH of a mixture is determined by the concentration of the ionized acidic or basic component. The pH or concentration profile may therefore be complicated when an acid is added to a base or vice versa. We shall consider each of the four experiments in turn. Number 1. Strong acid interacting with a strong base. In this situation, both the acid and base may be considered to be fully dissociated in a solution. The acid and base will react to form a salt and water. If the acid and base are added in exactly equimolar quantities and both contain the same number of ionizable acidic or basic groupings, they will neutralize each other and the solution will have a neutral pH of 7. In all other situations, there will be a net excess of acid or base and this will determine the pH of the final solution. If there is an excess of strong acid, then the pH will typically settle in the range of 2.5 to 1. Conversely, if there is an excess of strong base, then the pH will typically settle in the range of 12 to 13. Figure shows how the pH changes as a strong acid is slowly added to a strong base or of course conversely if a strong base is added to a strong acid. Remember that the pH is determined by whichever species remains in excess following reaction. The pH initially hardly changes until a point close to neutralization that is following neutralization the pH changes very rapidly as either the acid or base is being added in excess. The point at which the acid and base are in equal molar quantities is known as the equivalence point that is neutralization and the rapid change in pH around this region forms the basis of the widely used acid base titrations. There are only few direct strong acid strong base titrations carried out in pharmacopoeial assays. Strong acid strong base titrations are used in pharmacopoeial assays of perchloric acid, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid and thiamine hydrochloride. For example, when a titration is carried out between a strong acid that is hydrochloric acid and a strong base that is sodium hydroxide. The strong acid that is hydrochloric acid is completely dissolved in the water and it produces the hydrogen ions which are neutralized by the hydroxide ions present in the strong base solution. At the equivalence point, the hydrogen ions are completely neutralized by the hydroxide ions. Then the plot is drawn between the pH and volume of the titrant. Initially, the plot shows the slow rise in the pH and at the end point, it reaches the sharp rise in the pH. This indicates that the neutralization is complete. Number 2. Strong acid reacting with weak base. The pH will again be determined by whichever species is in excess. The strong acid will again give rise to pH values of between approximately 1.0 and 1.5. 
the weak base will cause the ph of the solution typically to be approximately between 8 and 9 the equivalence point may again be identified by a rapid change in ph see the figure for example if a titration is carried out between a strong acid that is hydrochloric acid and a weak base ammonia the weak base ammonia is taken into the conical flask and the little quantity of the indicator is added then the resulting solution is titrated with the strong acid that is hydrochloric acid in this case the plot between the ph and the volume of the titrant shows the initial decrease in the ph and at the end point it shows the rapid ph drop and remains constant this indicates the completion of the neutralization by the formation of the salt that is ammonium chloride number three strong base reacting with weak acid in this situation the strong base will raise the ph to values of between 12 and 13 while the weak base will result in ph changes typically between 4 and 5 when either one or the other species is in excess the equivalence point is once again characterized by a rapid change in ph weak acid strong base titration is used in the pharmacopoeial assays of benzoic acid citric acid chlorambucil injection mustine injection nicotinic acid tablets and undeconoic acid for example, if a titration is carried out between a weak acid, acetic acid and with a strong base that is sodium hydroxide. The weak acid, acetic acid is partially dissociated into hydrogen ions that are neutralized by the strong base which produces hydroxide ions. The weak acid is taken into the conical flask and the appropriate indicator is added and then titrated with the strong base until the color change persists. Then the plot between the pH value and the volume of the titrant initially shows the low pH and after the addition of the strong base it shows the increase in the pH and at the end point it shows the sharp increase in the pH. This indicates the completion of the neutralization. And number 4 weak acid reacting with weak base. The change in pH is not so dramatic in this situation since the weak acid may only lower the pH of the solution to values of about 4 and 5 while the base may only cause the pH to rise to around 8 to 9. See figure. The equivalence point even if it is characterized by a narrower change in pH value it is still identified by a rapid change in pH. For example, the weak acid is partially dissociated and is neutralized with the ammonia which is a weak base. The weak acid is taken into the conical flask and then the appropriate indicator is added. Then it is titrated with the weak base until the color change appears. By plotting the pH versus volume of the titrant, the plot shows the continuous decrease in the pH. The pH change is not observed rapidly. The end point is indicated by the formation of the salt that is ammonium acetate. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video. The classification of acid-based titrations and the theory involved in the titrations of strong, weak and very weak acids and bases and their neutralization curves. In the next video, we will discuss the solvents used in non-aqueous titrations. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.